Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some more Raxus Ramps. This is a deck I have a lot of fun with. I just bought it in paper myself and we're going to hop out there and see how these games can go. Our main purpose is to accelerate our mana base kind of with a big score making treasures instead of making extra land drops like you would in green. But basically what we want to do is either bin a big card that we can bring back with the cruelty of Gix for 5 mana or have our big score connect us to some of our bigger pieces like Atali on the top end and try to win that way. So outside of that, let's go ahead and hop into the games, see how they go. If you all enjoy my content, please be sure to subscribe. I truly appreciate it. I'm almost at a thousand, which will be incredible for me. So thanks. Let's go game. All right, we get to go first. We have double red for Brothers to in. We have the Iron Crown. We have big score. We have cruelty. I mean, his hand's definitely, definitely put together about as good as we would want it. Especially considering we have like the tap land on turn one and we're on the play. That was really good. We find a nice little payoff here. The Iron Crag set up. We'll play land, then we can do a pitch and kinda go through the modes of cruelty of Gix, maybe. Nine. Okay. Well, we'll land here. We'll pass. The best thing about playing against dinos is we pretty much know that the brothers set in is bad card. But it's not dinos, it's it's the mirror. Discover mirror. It is what it is. The so brother said in probably not good. I said it's the discover mirror, it's not technically the discover mirror. A little bit something else. Play here. Throw a Chandra up. Just have to hope to kind of dodge a shield edict, I guess. Fire doesn't need a, plan. a black black? Together play this preacher might be the wrong play but it's the play i'm making regardless we can then make hopefully if chandra sticks we can make mana with chandra but if this is a children's edict then we feel horrible okay that's three worst case scenario we cruelty a gix and we steal their creature like it probably is also really really cool I think taking their creature out of the yard so they can't cruelty a Gix, it's also really cool. What do you have, opponent? Yeah? Well, I planned on plussing regardless. Kind of. Not like really, but kind of. My life total is higher, so I'll draw a card first. I don't have a way to really get pace, so we'll see. It all looking good, all looking dandy here. Again. Plus... I, I want to protect his life total a little bit. Let's just go get their dino out of their yard. Or we can look at their hand, I guess. But I'm going to go steal their dino. And what do we hit? Another preacher. Nice. Now we have a really good setup right now. And we can cycle this land. Draw a card. Maybe field of ruin, some, field of ruin something. Our board stage really, really solid. Like 11 damage on board. Chandra's still in play. Maybe they have another brother to the end. Maybe they have another Carnosaur. Yes. They're two away from Itali. They're two away from a Breach if they're the ramp version like we are. But they could just be the Discover version instead. And the Chandra is too much to hang with. So, just like that, we play the Mirror ish. Kind of the same concept. Play some of the same cards. Maybe we were the exact me. I have no idea, but we end up taking away the game. So we feel pretty good about it. And we'll move on. Uh, Yeah, we'll keep. We could hold up to cut down for a turn, but I think, I think Restless Vents early is probably fine. I guess I'll take one damage, I guess. So holding up cut down didn't matter because of this. Aw, oh, great draw. Player Cliffs, pass. We have all the removal in the world. We just have to hope that this doesn't become a we can remove everything but never have a wing con situation. That can happen sometimes. Let's be a Phoenix chick, a Swiss spear. I think that's what they're deciding. A Felden kind of plays around everything against us. But then we could play Virtue next turn and then hold up a cut down, pop the Kamano along with it, and then probably just have to get hit with the Godric. But for mono red players typically being in a hurry, we're in the tank now. Farming Scoundrel, sure. So it gets a counter. Put a Wicked Roll token on it. Please. I'm begging. Ah, uh, that sucks. 
Still not gonna take my damage though. And I'm not gonna let them make a treasure to potentially monstrous rage it. I'll definitely, I'll definitely take my time here. We'll pass. We're all good at this point. Depending what kind of gets flipped here, decides whether or not I just pop this brotherhood in and wipe the board. But I think Godric enters as a four-four, correct? Uh, just save some life here. You never know when we'll draw a cruelty of Gix, so. Having one of those in the yard is not necessarily the worst thing of all time. There is a fine draw, but again, we now need to be either we either need to draw like a big score or just like lands in general, because we've been drawing spells. We need the land to support it. Oh no? Sure, that'll take time. Back in Gondrick. Sure. Or more. Creature is good. I feel like we might have to play it. Just, I would probably prefer to land. I'll trigger. They have another one of the charming scoundrels. We're in trouble. This game is fitting the category of just like having too much removal and not enough action. Like a big score, if we take over this game. Okay. I mean, that has to be. We have another spell, yeah. Six we go. Definitely within burn range. Well, there's the big score. We can big score, get rid of Chaunter, but then we have to hit a land. Which is just, like, not really likely. So let's deal three damage to each. Get everything off the board. Then we'll attack here, leaving a 1 1 lifelinker back. And hopefully we can kind of grind this game out. The real problem is they're still at three cards. They have a 2-2 two -two that's going to attack that I have to kind of block. They hit a fourth land drop. Block, maybe Monster Rage plus Play with Fire, I can see. Maybe Soccer Frenzy, sure. Holy cow, dude. Please. I know I said I wanted big score, but like... Still needed that land. Hey, we hold on here. Carnosaur this. We're just hoping. Sucks that we have to do it now. I thought about playing Preacher, but if they removed it again, it just felt really bad. And maybe that's what their other card is, the Witch Stalker Frenzy in hand. Land is good. Let's name Dino. Let's put a Chandra in play. We'll minus one here. Answering this and this. Just hoping that one of the cards in their hands is a Witch Stalker Frenzy, and that's what it feels like. Can it deal with the Planeswalkers? Like creature? Okay. Putting their la one of their last cards on Witch Stalker Frenzy. There's a Swiss Spear. Not? Okay. I could have sworn it would be. Well, sure. Here. Need like that draw. Uh, hard, hard to kind of ask for that. We have no card in hand to loot away with events. What on earth is that? Draw. Try a slow roll. Slow roll, maybe. Feels that way. I guess we'll sit here and wait. Yes. My turn. We'll activate Chandra. You got a feeling this will work. This. Honestly, if I draw another virtue, I'm casting it to gain life. Uh, 
have no idea if there's a way I can stay alive at any point here. Back. A life linker. Oh, on the stack, I suppose. Uh, I guess putting squee in there is kind of a mistake, huh? But I can just take the squee. The Gix. Sure. Well, we have to do. Let's do mode three, or we die. So that's not good. Uh, our graveyard, another Carnosaur, sure. We do all this to maybe just have them draw a play with fire and we die. <laughs> so we're putting a draw. Did you draw a play with fire or not? We couldn't have put any more into play. We have nothing else. You either drew it or you didn't. That. It's another draw. Definitely take a redraw. I see why they kept the other card. Oh my god, we won the game. Holy cow. Nothing like looking at red, take a couple extra draws off the top. They had so many outs. Holy, this had to be the card in our hand. Any mountain, any burn spell, anything, and they win the game on the spot. But we live at two and come out of the game on top. My opponent goes first. We have a virtue, we have a Gix. I know like it's a little bit of a heavy hand we are on the draw so hopefully we can draw some pieces to get us there play events immediately and then follow it up with two black leaf cliffs draw a third one when i'm just gonna have to enter taps not a whole lot we can do about it but this is most likely domain yeah kind of figured so so our main win condition is to mill out our opponent which is a fun win condition i love this win condition definitely my favorite Pay through life. We'll just get this off the battlefield immediately. We don't want to worry about the invasion next turn and then them attacking it. I'd rather just get that down. And if I draw a preacher, I can play a preacher or something along those lines. Draw another land. Well, not like too upset because that means we're drawing lands to our to our spells. We just have to get to our spells. Definitely a little bit slow at doing that here with this hand. My turn. My binding can't actually take out my restless fence. So I'm gonna go to combat with it. I'll attack. This card is a Tali. And a brother sit in. We'll hit for two. It'll go away. And then we can play land, play cruelty, put in the Atali, and hopefully hit maybe a Traxa from our opponent. Kinda look. Get a Chandra, get a Breach ready. You know, just just the use, just the use. Play land, and like we said, we're gonna throw this up on the stack. We're gonna go to three because we know leyline binding is definitely a possibility. We're gonna go in our graveyard. We're gonna grab our Tully. Definitely a better hit. Uh, big score. Uh, this cut down can go. I will decline that. That's got nothing to offer me. Next, next. to 46 and we know what our win condition is tracks is obviously good we can remove it and then we can play a virtue next turn uh can we do both one two three five six seven eight no we able to better triumph and do both but realistically if their turns to play a tracks and my plan is to flip a tolly and attack tracks it has death touch but the backside of a tolly says indestructible so it doesn't matter Sunfall. Have anything else important in here? Really, but I don't think fighting over that's worth it. We are, we are flooding. Let's activate this. Go to combat again. Cat pauses. Obviously, there's an incubate token, but there also could be a ley line binding as well. To pick up one of these treasures, that's all possible. 
bit. Yes, in turn. We have a lot of removal. We have a lot of stuff going on. I think I'm, we're just looking to draw with the proving ground. Cost one of our treasures, but I don't think that's the worst case. Extra land attracts and now maybe leaving up a white source. They don't have one. They have an archangel here. Yes. Not me, obviously. What is it going to be, bro? <laughs> yep. There it is. Double kicked. Uh, start a card. Here. Be a mountain. Get out of the way, you know. There you go. Please put the brothers in and stop. I don't need more brothers sitting in. We have brothers sitting in at home. I feel like just playing this virtue into a ley line binding doesn't make any sense. You could not have it. And this might be a situation where I'm kind of making myself lose the game with it, but who knows? And that'll give us some action. At least preacher will be able to come and play here. Uh, this on dino still play preacher really get to see if it's a binding or not Isn't it funny that preacher trades and attracts it off the flying seven seven life linking death toucher absolute monster that it is pay me off no and there was a pause there they had something obviously have one black, so double virtue is not possible. Might be Archangel again. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. This Brotherhood in is pretty cool. Really cool about this. I'm gonna play the Lestis here. Yeah, have a good time. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna say three damage to all creatures. Thank you. Maybe this whole time they haven't had it. Oh, they haven't had one. Wow. I've been wrong the whole time. I have just been wrong. They've not had a ley line binding. They've just had this herd migration, which is nuts to say the least. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't have double black for that either. That's that's the funniest part. They don't have double black for that. Uh, can I? I draw something a little bit more relevant here, maybe. I mean, I guess, I guess it's as good a time as any. Uh, so we're gonna slay Mars first. Do the combat. Attack. The life linker on the back end. We'll hit for two. Uh, we're gonna hold this for a big score. We don't need the mana clearly. Let a stink bug try to attack me. We're looking in the yards. There's not really. There's not really a whole lot of impressive creatures floating around right now. You kind of have it in the Archangel or the Topiary Stomper. Second Virtue from them. Still no second black mana. I think that's where we're kind of getting to in this turn where they're like, don't really have a whole lot going on. I think, honestly, we just then before we draw because it triggers before we draw. So we Go ahead and get cards out of the way if we can. Oh, it's a lightning bug. Oh, lightning bug. Got nothing against you, little guy. Killing. Fire wings and flap away. The iron crag comes in. Get the bonk again. Do we have enough for this Atali? We do not. We hold for big score. Do we not hold for no, uh, I think we just wait. Also could have played it, I guess, to be aggressive with it. Cycle, sure. All right, I'll be able to take the... Oh, why didn't I get rid of the Atali? I have a Virtue in play. Oh, dude. <sighs> Darn it, bro. Tragic. Getting Sunfall away. 
going to a sweet home somewhere near you. But you bring back the only creature that it can. Another land. At this point, we're going to play the rest of the fence down. But we'll slam it at Dolly first, uncounterably. Here, up to Beanstalk. Beanstalk being incredibly nice. The fact that we'll draw cards. Hey, give it up after that. That had to be probably the most like underwhelming hand for our opponent. They just didn't. They just never really drew anything. How many cards deep were they? They were ish deep, and I plus I milled some a little bit there. Man, that is wild. Two virtues, no second black mana. It doesn't play a lot. That's kind of the downside of the list. But sometimes they play Celestis to help fix that. Sometimes they don't really knows they had a herd migration but a lot of times there's only one swamp in the list sometimes they play two for that exact reason end up not being able to play virtue and we come out on top because of it i'm gonna go first i mean we have a good hand to keep here so we will please don't be control okay maybe it's not i i don't care if it's control let me let me change don't be jace mill that's what I care about because that's annoying. There's a shredder here. We find a good card. We'll play land. We'll play virtue. We'll get this off the battlefield and they can be helping hand back later if they would like. But realistically, brotherhood in is good as long as it's not a hottie gen. Um, this seems weird to think about. But we're actually going to bitter triumph deal three to ourselves to get this off the battlefield now is most likely they have a chance to bring it back i know it has prowess okay i hate everything about this i'm gonna pass for a turn hopefully they just play like another mentor Maybe not, but like, I don't know what I want them to play. I want to be able to big score regardless is really where I'm at. They do play another mentor. Fuck. So now, oh yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Never seen a better hand I'm coming together like this. I will big score and I'll pitch a big score because I don't think I really have time to like do both. Oh yeah. Now we flame events. Do this and we say we're going to deal three damage to each creature. We're going to take all their creatures out. Now we're going to sit here and chill. I can activate my restless fence. Please stop asking me. I do not want to. Got plays opponent. Okay. That is fun. Not like really, but kind of fun, you know? Like a, a moderately fine kind of angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holly. Ooh, sticks. Oh, and we're making. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's go with Tali. We get to play Hottie Gin and make our stuff cheaper. Uh, big score seems fantastic. Uh, honestly, Chandra, we'll find you later. We are. You can go. You can go away. We got. We got things we're trying to do over here. Okay. I wish I would have had one of these lands earlier. They could bounce this though. That's like the only real issue I have. Are we gonna get some spells on his step? Yeah, looks like it have some good blocks we're getting close to the mana of being able to brotherhood in plus flip a tolly because one two three four five six seven eight nine ten obviously it's a little bit cheaper because the hottie gen like just casting your brotherhood in they put a land in the yard will they otherworldly gaze again they don't wow they kept two cards but i'm just surprised not to see them go for another otherworldly gaze they have less instants and sorceries in their graveyard than i do isn't that wild? I can't even, like, I barely even believe it. 
Um, uh, my turn? Let us... Land? Could flip this, but they could bounce it, I guess, so... Play Cruelty? Uh, two? Pretty good looking in our deck. Setting up for some crazy stuff to happen. Uh, go for the throw, seems good. Let us pop this, maybe? It's only one mana, so like we feel pretty good about our chances. Consider, it's fine. Huh? You hit another spell. You have otherworldly gaze. You bend. Red throw is still solid. And they concede to it. We were going to attack. Hope they maybe have to block or something. And if they can't, we Brotherhood in the board here because these also have trample. Then we can cast Brotherhood and popping this, this, and this. So they can't really triple block or anything. And then we swing in for 14, 19 plus. This will go in a yard. So this will be six. And this will be in the yard. So it'll actually be seven. So it's three sevens for 21. And we find lethal that way. Wow, what a what a wild one. Standard dead. Seventeen seconds. That's crazy. My opponent goes first. Our hand's a little bit cheaper than it looks. I have a couple of hands that kind of like constantly look like that. It looks so expensive, but realistically, it's actually like this. Not that bad. Mono red, sure. We love mono red. Creature or the cycle land? Maybe. Going. Not confident in that, but I think it's got to be like the creature land. If we draw a cut down, we'd be pretty happy because then we can play this and then cut down this, or even this, but. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Old cliffs. Old virtue will take out some of this. Virtue's obviously for sorcery speed. The monster shrades, we don't care because it only puts 1-1 one, one on this. And this does minus 3, minus 3, so it still die. Oh, they thought about play with firing it. I'll say it does the same, but you get to scry the difference. That would be kind of wild. The next turn we'll play Haunted Ridge, we'll play a Preacher and hope Preacher can kind of body block what's in play. At least we hope regardless. Yeah, it's about what we figured was going to happen. Exactly Cliffs, sure. Although we could just pop the Godric, I guess. But I'd like to play Preacher, maybe force them to have like an awful turn. So let's play Preacher first. Creature can be consistent removal where we kind of get one shot with this Carnosaur. Earth land drop. Maybe they just have it. They let Thirsty Atmosphere. No kick available. Sure. But Godric's going to get flying. They have the last. They have a Witch Stalker frenzy for this Preacher. This sucks. Big time. Oh, they just monster afraid you immediately. Sure. Huh? I can't even remove this now. I bad, I guess. So close. Huh. On a red player actually did math for once. That's crazy. I mean, we're just dead. Yeah. We fall short. That's crazy. All right. We're going to talk about this deck. A little bit in this outro here and kind of the gauntlet that we ran into today uh i uh i was recording it was doing well and we were playing well as you'll kind of see throughout the matches and then you know arena started being arena at times and we get we kept getting put in this blender of we'd play mono red mono red jace mill mono red jace mill jace mill mono red and it was just like no other deck that I was playing. So I ended up cutting. I was just starting to get like tilted. Because every time I would see an opener, it'd be too slow. 
and I would keep it and it'd be mono red or I would keep an opener and it'd be like full removal and it's just a J splayer and I would have both my cut downs which there are only two of or I'd have a go for the throat and the bitter triumph of all the removal that's good would be kind of wasted in, in my deck somewhere it was just not good I was just like the vibes generally got terrible for me I was kind of just going through it you know sometimes you do that whenever you play magic the gathering it just happens you just are constantly on the back end of basically getting bullied you know crying in the club by the other decks but it is what it is it happens sometimes sometimes you'll have one day you'll have incredible success with the deck just to the next day just get floored and it is the way that magic goes and sometimes it's just what you have to do but yeah so a lot of those end up getting cut we kind of i think we ended about neutral today maybe even a little bit on the negative side just because of how our matches went overall but realistically the only thing we were losing to was mono red on the play and then jace mill which is a pretty good matchup against us regardless because we are constantly drawing cards we want to get through our deck we're wanting to throw stuff in our graveyard very quickly but they just counter the cruelty of gix or the chandra or the virtue or the breach that's all they have to counter the rest of their spells don't matter and in like in terms of against that deck we have a dead draw dead draw dead draw okay draw but probably a dead draw most of the time doesn't really matter because we have time to set up regardless so i would consider that a dead draw kind of like in between if we're fast enough this is fine a risky play overall because we do that then they make this appear it and then we lose the spell the card we discarded and we don't get any value out of it so like a risky card nevertheless doesn't normally hit anything doesn't really resolve if we have something good in the yard they just let it resolve if they do and then counter other things like that and then the preacher is kind of like eh. so then we have all this like i mean half our decks that draw the rest of 26 lands it's a lot to try to get through and then obviously a is good and a a lot of times needs to hit their jace and we need to mill them the other win condition that we kind of run into is like Chandra plus Breach to mill our opponent. Hopefully hit a Jace. Then we play Jace of theirs and then we mill them for 15 for a total of that like uh, Breach for one for 10 and then another one for 20 and then the Jace for a total of 35 and we can mill them pretty quickly and aggressively that way. But we also in that regard get hit for 20 ourselves. So say they have another Jace in the hand they get to play it and then mill us and maybe we lose first. Not really cut and clear but whenever you have a game plan against an opponent to win by like using their own cards to win it's not going to happen all the time and you're just going to end up falling short a lot of the times there so i found the games to be pretty boring i just want to be completely honest i kind of cut them because like a lot of times not i'm not kidding i was just sitting here like this just silent waiting for my blue white control opponent to make the play or the red game was just so typical of a red game where it was just Kamano, two drop, uh, Godric, do whatever, monstrous rage, kill you, good game, go next. And it was just like, they weren't interesting to me. If you maybe find those games interesting, I'll upload them next time, but please let me know. Outside of that, that's all I really got. I do still enjoy the deck. I'll definitely be playing it more. Uh, we're kind of in the autopilot mode until our new set comes out. There's a lot of cards will be getting replaced potentially in this list, but especially in other lists, especially like the new black removal spell that got spoiled, things like that. So let's just, let's get through it. Let's get to the new set and we'll have a good time. I hope you all enjoyed the content. I'll see you all later. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're watching. And let's just get out of there. Bye.